everybody. <laughs> I, um, when I was in college two weeks ago, um, Hannah and I snuck out to get some cake and I had some lovely, lovely Bakewell tart, which made me very happy because we were quite near to Bakewell, so <laughs> it was very good. Would you guys stop it? I'm just growling and playing. Um, and then I was visiting someone last week and they happened to have some Bakewell and uh, offered some to me and it was lovely too and I thought, you know what? Bakewell is so easy to make, so I'm gonna make some. So I've just been making my pastry for the bottom of it, which is really just like a biscuity type base. And it could include some dogs if you're not careful. Shut up! Sheldon! So anyway, biscuity base. I need to cover this with um, some raspberry jam and then make some sponge to go on top and then bake for a while and it will be a Bakewell tart. I'm thinking I might put some uh, like proper icing on top and some uh, glass uh, cherries. Glass cherries? I'm not sure how you say the word. G L A C E with a wee thing above it. Anyway. French cherries? <laughs> They're kind of just candy cherries. So, anyway. I'm gonna get on with this and uh, get on with telling these two to shut up as well. And there we go. One big well tart. Um, I should have put some flaked almonds over the top, but what I want to do actually is cover it with um, some icing. And uh, I, I was actually having to make two little ones as well. And no, you cannot have it. Um, so I'm going to put the icing on top and then sprinkle on the almonds and put some uh, glassy cherries on top of that as well. Stuart, what you're not getting. No. But I'm glad that you like the smell of them. Sheldon, what are you at? That's a great rope. It's the best rope I've ever seen. <laughs> Ta-da! One finished Bakewell tart. Yes, the icing isn't very neat. I need to get uh, better at that. But that's just all the more reason to make cake and practice. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, yeah, I covered it with lots of cherries because I love cherries and uh, bits of almond and all, but uh, you can see actually better in these little ones. I didn't put icing on them because I thought they're for Rob and he'll not like icing on them because he's weird. Um, but you can see at the side um, the different layers through it. So you've got your biscuity base, your raspberry jam, and then your sort of spongy um, almondy sponge at the top. Um, and then obviously this one's topped with really badly done icing and cherries and almonds. And Sheldon, you want some? Now you hiding. Do you want some, Stewie? You're all blurry. Hello. Do you want cake? I know how you guys like cake. All right, I know it's not the brightest. You probably can't see me very well, but I wanted to um, just say, well, yes, I was working today. I wasn't just baking cakes, but the thing is I'm finding lately, and I know some of you guys have noticed <laughs> just that I don't seem to stop very often. <laughs> I don't seem to just, have nothing to do so I just decided I had lots to do this afternoon but I just said to myself you know what I'm gonna do something that I enjoy right now and that's make a cake so I did um, and I am discovering that I don't know with having not been uh, very well lately and stuff and not been in great form and things like that I'm discovering that my limits that I normally have are just a wee bit tighter or shorter or whatever you know so my my limits are less really so I need to um, try and pay attention to what my body's telling me saying okay look Ruth slow down stop it you know <laughs> and all of that um, and it's so hard isn't it I just I'm so enthusiastic about my work and um, lots of other things that I do as well um, I mean right now I'm driving to a meeting for summer madness and that's not work stuff that's just me stuff and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so passionate about stuff and I, I just, I need to learn to say no to some things and I have done actually over the past few days, there's been a couple of things I've said, look, actually, I'm not sure that I can do this, so I'm being good that way, anyway. I was also thinking, this day next week will be my 366th day in a row vlogging. Can you believe it? <laughs> that year has just disappeared like nothing. I mean, it doesn't seem that long ago since I was saying, yeah, I've just got like three months to go and now it's like a week, seven more vlogs after today, of course. 
and I'm counting it as 366 because it was a leap year this year as well so um, technically it's a year on Monday but next Tuesday is my one year vlog anniversary. isn't that exciting so there we go I'm not sure how to mark that or what to do hmm. any suggestions put them in the comments below